वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.97 सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द एल्यूमिनियम टेस्ट स्पेसिमेन शोन इज सब्जेक्टेड टू टू इक्वल एंड अपोजिट सेंट्रिक एक्सियल फोर्स ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड पी ए नोइंग दैट ई इज इक्वल टू 70 गीगा पास्कल एंड अलाउएबल स्ट्रेस इज 200 मेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम अलाउएबल वैल्यू ऑफ पी एंड द करस्पोंडिंग टोटल इलांगेशन ऑफ स्पेसिमेन In part B, solve part A. Assuming that specimen has been replaced by an aluminium bar of the same length and uniform, 60 by 15 millimeter regular cross section. So we will start from the given data. In given data, it is given as it is aluminium aluminium test specimen. and all the dimensions are given you can see the total length is 300 plus 150 plus 150 the thickness is 15 mm the width over this section is 75 and in narrow section the width is 60 radius fillet radius is 6 mm and the load p dash is applied clear and uh, what we have given we have given modulus of elasticity e is equal to 7 giga pascal and allowable stress is equal to 200 mega pascal and uh, what we have been asked to find so we have to find in part a we have to find the maximum allowable value of p so p maximum assuming that specimen has been and in part b it is given that if this specimen is replaced if this tensile specimen is replaced by a, a uniform 60 by 15 mm rectangular cross section rectangular cross section also find p max for it if it is replaced by uh, rectangular specimen so let's start with the solution again you can see here that we have been given that allowable stress is 200 mega pascal and e is equal to 70 giga pascal so 70 into 10 to the power 9 pascal and this is also 200 into 10 to the power 6 pascal now you can see here the this width is 75 and this is 60 so if we take the cross section over here this will be equal to minimum area minimum cross sectional area so minimum cross sectional area will be equal to 60 which is this one and the thickness which is 15 so when you multiply it will be it will give you 19 900 square millimeter or 900 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter again for test specimen that is shown in this figure 2.97 uh we know that there is a fillet over here clear so what we have to do we know that d which is maximum width is 75 mm so the d is 75 mm and smaller d which is the smaller width which is 60 mm also radius of fillet is given as 6 mm so from here you can find capital d divided by d which is equal to 75 divided by 60 and again that is equal to 1.25 also if you want to find r over d so r is 6 divided by d is 60 so that is equal to 0.1 now we will how why we find d by d and r by d in order to get k which is stress concentration factor and this 
K can be found by using from figure 2.60B you can find this K you should remember D by D is 1.25 and R by D is 0 0.1 so let's move and find it so this is figure 20.6B okay so D by D is 1.25 so this is 1.2 and 1.25 will be in between this 1.2 and 1.3 clear and r is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is this point clear so if you extend it it will be somewhere here and that k comes out to be it will be at the middle k will be somewhere 1.95 or you can assume any point closer to 2. So k is 1.95. Once you have this k is equal to 95, you know that sigma max is equal to k into p divided by a. Clear? So from here you can get this p is equal to sigma max into a divided by k you can put the value p is equal to max sigma max is uh, 200 megapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 6 a which is the minimum area is 900 i will write it also minimum 900 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by k which is 1.95 so from here you will get load 92.308 into 10 to the power 3 newton r p is equal to 92.3 kilo newton now this is for uh, narrow area if you move and you can see that we have white area which is 75 by uh, 15 so i will write it also for white area or white area is equal to 75 into 15 millimeter and that is equal to 1125 square millimeter or 11 2, 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter or you can also write it as 1.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 square meter okay in question it was given to determine the maximum allowable value of load p and corresponding total elongation so we have calculated maximum allowable load and now we will move toward total elongation and you can see that due to this load p the total elongation will be elongation in this portion in this portion plus this narrow portion and then this portion so total three elongations will occur I will write it as we know that elongation or change in length delta is equal to sum of pi li or ai e, uh, ei and i start from 1 to n so there are three elongations so i will start from 1 to 3 so i will write it as the material is same and load is same so p i will write uh, p and e is same so i will take common so p over e will be equal uh, p over e will be taken as common so we will left on l i over a i and i start from 1 to 3 which is equal to elongation is equal to p over e into l1 over a1 plus l2 over a2 plus l3 over a3 now you have you can put the value 
load uh, elongation is equal to P which is 92.308 here you can see into 10 to power 3 divided by E was given as 70 gigapascal so 70 into 10 to power 9 into what is L1 so L1 is this 150 L3 is also 150 and L2 is 300 so L1 is 150 which in term of meter is equal to 0 0.150 plus L2 is 300 meter which is 0 0.30 plus L3 is again 0 0.150 divided by area A1 is maximum area which is 75 by 15. So in term we have this area wide area is 1.125 1.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 similarly a3 is also same 1.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 and a2 is the minimum area which is this one 1900 so it will be again 900 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve that you will get elongations comes out to be 7.91 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter or you can say elongation is 0 0.791 millimeter now we will move toward our b part and b part says that if it is uniform rectangular bar the dimension is was given as 60 by 15 millimeter 60 by 15 millimeter so it means that this bar is now like this so this is uh, this is the bar and this is the section so this is 60 and this is equal to 15 clear so again if this is applied by centric axial load p so we know that stress is equal to force per unit area here we have been given allowable stress so sigma allowable is equal to p divided by a so this load centric load for rectangular bar is equal to sigma allowable into a now sigma allowable is 200 megapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 6 and area is 60 by 15 which is equal to 900 60 by 15 60 by 15 so when you calculate it you will have this p value comes out to be 180 into 10 to the power 3 and newton and this p will be equal to 180 kilo newton now what about elongation so you know that elongation is equal to p into l divided by a e so we have p 180 newton kilo newton so 180 into 10 to the power 3 length of this bar is 150 if this bar is replaced by rectangular same length so 150 150 300 plus 300 is 600 okay so 600 millimeter in term of meter it will be 0 0.6 0 double zero divided by area is 60 into 160 into 15 which is again equal to 900 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter into e which is 70 gigapascal so 70 into 10 to the power 9 so when you solve it you will get this is equal to 1.714 into 10 to the power minus 3 or this elongation is 1.714 4 millimeter so here we have find out the maximum load p for this rectangular bar as well as elongation while in part a we have calculated the maximum load p and the total elongation of this tensile specimen bar 
I hope you have clear understanding about this problem. Thank you for watching and supporting me.